In this problem, we have what's called an arithmetic sequence. So an arithmetic sequence is a sequence where each term is obtained simply by adding a number over and over again. So in this case, to get from 4 to 2, we simply have to add negative 2. And to get from 2 to 0, we add negative 2. And to get from 0 to negative 2, we add negative 2. So it looks like we're just adding negative 2 over and over again. We're looking for what's called the general term or the nth term. So the formula for the nth term is given by the following equation. So a sub n is equal to the first term, which we denote by a sub 1, plus n minus 1 times d. d here is called the common difference. It's the number that we keep adding. So the common difference in this case is actually negative. So d is negative 2. A sub 1 is the first term, so in this case, it's just the first number you see here. So A sub 1 is equal to 4. Okay, now we just have to plug everything into our formula. So A sub n is equal to A sub 1 is 4 plus, and then we have parentheses n minus 1, and we said our d was negative 2. That's our common difference. In the next step, we'll go ahead and simplify this. So this is a sub n equals 4. Let's see, negative 2 times n is going to give us negative 2n. And negative 2 times negative 1 is going to give us a positive 2. It looks like we can combine the 4 and the 2, because 4 plus 2 is 6. So a sub n is equal to 6 minus... 2 times n. And so that would be the formula for the nth term or the general term of our arithmetic sequence.